Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve and I'm going to chit chat with you a little bit about the title because I'm sure that's why you clicked it, not the thumbnail, but who cares? We're going to be talking about a MVP product that's going to go with, I figured why not just do a, a tutorial kind of video on how to do it um, or how to fix one because really, well, you may have to fix a few parts or you can add some upgrades to it, but we're going to be chit chatting a little bit on how to put together an Odin and not so much that you have to install it, like put them together when you buy them. They come together. But the stock wheel, which is going to be our MVP player in this one. This is not the stock. Um, we're going to be installing into this one. So this is going to be a sweet little upgrade. Big shout out to True Aim at 916 Customs. Uh, they sent this out to me to do a review on it and I am super pumped to try this. We're going to see about loading a couple different mags. Um, really only two different, the EPMs and the EPM ones is the only thing I'm going to be loading. One's a 150 count, the other is a 250 count. Um, so we're going to see about how long it takes, you know, hoping, um, all goes well. So what we're going to do, and for the sake of the video, I've already removed some, but big shout out to ATSB boys out there, by the way. I got you fives. But we are going to, uh, go ahead and get into this. So if you look on the image these six bolts or screws uh, need to be removed I've removed five for the convenience of the video at the moment um, but we're gonna go ahead and remove this one as well Please make sure you put them to the side real quick so keep them safe don't lose your screws and then we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes right here the silicone based thing does not come stock with these things this is a silencer it helps you know keep down the rattling for the BBs or whatnot so you can actually get these to upgrade your Odin as well. So let me go ahead and pull these out and give you a, give you a quick look. See, it's just crunches, forms right back to where it needs to be. Um, this is a good time too, is if you have, when you busted your Odin open, to go ahead and make sure there's no dirt, debris, things like that that can end up on your uh, BB and your magazine into your hop up and eventually through your inner barrel. So we got these things, and what we're going to do is just, well, you really don't need to remove this one on the side if you don't really particularly want to, or if you don't have one. We're going to focus on this one at the moment. So what we're going to do is just remove our little door. Remember, that's going to be there. And we're going to pull out the silencer for that. Now you will see four more screws down here holding this little doohickey on. It looks like a little tornado or a uh, shell. So what we're going to do is remove these four. There's not one right here. It's not missing. It is actually from the body. So we have two different levels here. This one's actually here. This one's here. So don't worry about that. We have four screws. And so once we have those screws removed, we're going to just take off this. Now there's going to be a little piece right here. This is actually what's going to go into your magazine right there. And mine needs some cleaning there too. So when you keep up with this piece, go ahead and put this aside with your screws and your cover. All right, now your other meat and potatoes for this situation is we're gonna to need to go to the back side on this one. And what you can do is on right here, you can either get a really big wrench, a socket, whatever it takes. I'm going to grab a big pair of channel locks and you're going to just keep your handle locked, your side wind locked and go ahead and remove this one okay so once we have this loose we're going to also put that over there now keep in mind how these are layered out here so just flip it over this is on top of this we can take our handle off right here put it to the side and there's always a kind of a like a leatherish pleather um, right here to kind of keep you know, scraping is kind of like a, acts like a bushing. So we got that in there, the big disc, the big disc is gonna go. And we're gonna pull this out, which we'll get to our wheel right there. Now this is not a stock one. I uh, forgot the name of this one, um, the company that makes them, but maybe I'll put it in the description. All right, we got that out now. Back to the meat and potatoes. What we're gonna do is, just how we took it out, we're gonna put it right back in. That's a good fit. Now that's what I was kind of wondering is how that would fit in there. 
the painting is good the screw or the bolt went right into the wheel a little bit of snug love it went just right in there flip this back over Put our disc back down our bushing and our washers oops i'm sorry our wheel our hand or we're not gonna be doing anything and then our washer so once we got that i go ahead and snap this back on so now that's on it's a good look for that looks like it's going to have some power behind it to really grab the bb but hopefully it won't grab too much uh, no kind of crunching incident or nothing like that it looks really good so we got that back in let's go ahead and put our silencer oops or not our silencer yet let's put our disc cover and our piece right here and i think this should be clean just a little bit but i can do that from a different put that back in cover back on and put our screws okay now that's back in now we can put our silencer back in here and remember our little door the door's got to be put a certain way now there's a handle on it if y'all know right there so we got to make sure we're going to put that towards the outside edge that's going to the door's going to open so it doesn't create a block and one it's not going to fit in there in there anyway but there's a little rod thing let's go ahead and put it in there slide it Take our other side. I'm just gonna sit it right on top of it, making sure our door lines up. Looks like everything's lined up. Now we're going to get uh, our screws back in. Now that our screws are back in, let's go ahead and give it a dry run. See if it's running, it's turning. Sounds like it is. Nothing seems loose. Let's see going to do is load some BBs. So first what I'm going to do is actually one of the um, SpeedQB uh, 150 EPMs. So we're going to load this thing up. good enough close the door swing our handle over load our mag that feels good that feels like it's loading it. and it did it fairly quickly at that fairly quickly good job let's try the epm1 these are 250 counts same thing feels good it just feels like it's working like it's doing what it's supposed to do let's check out our indicator i'm not giving it too much crunch because i don't want to crush bbs but oh that's loading great that loaded very well and now we have an epm and an epm one fully loaded I really, really love the feel of that. Um, that crunch is satisfying. It, it truly is satisfying. Um, it feels like it's doing its job very well. Um, if I'm gonna have crushed BBs or anything like that out on the field, I hope not. Um, but I got that feeling as long as I'm not crazy with it, trying to speed it you know, as fast as I can in a sense where a BB could get crushed or pinned or anything like that, because that aluminum is going to be stronger than that BB. Um, as long as I'm not doing that, I should be pretty Gucci. Yeah, big shout out to uh, 916 Customs over there at True Aim. Give them a shout. They are in the description as well um, where you can get this product. Um, nonetheless, man, uh, if you enjoy the video, give it a like. Uh, if you think it'll help out a friend or anything like that, refer them. Uh, if you got anything out of the video, drop me a comment. And if you haven't hit that little red button here that it says to subscribe, make sure you do so. I'll catch you on the next video.